Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my spiritual altar tour. So this is going to be a tour around my manifestation altar. So if you don't know what a altar is, it basically is a sacred place where you can focus your spiritual intentions, affirmations and energy. So you can actually manifest your deepest desires with a spiritual altar. There are physical tools we can use to spark the law of attraction and an altar is one of them. So you can create an altar anywhere in your home, anywhere that you feel is a space you can go to. And you can put any items in that relate to you and that are related to what you are trying to attract in your life. So I'm going to show you all of my individual items that I have in mind. I feel it's important to have a candle in your altar because candles can actually keep your spiritual well-being active. So I like to light a candle that has sage in because this is a candle to help to manifest. So I've chosen a seashell to place in my altar to basically represent the intention to be around nature, whether this is by the sea or greenery I just really wanted that intention so then I have this resin heart that has a real natural four-leaf clover in and the four-leaf clover represents good luck so I have this as a symbol for faith hope love and luck and it also has gold speckles in to represent wealth so I also have this glass locket bracelet that I made that has a real green feather inside and I'm really connected to parakeet birds and this was found at the park where they hang out. So this does represent good fortune, abundance, success, prosperity, growth and a connection to nature. So whether you are trying to attract money, success, positivity, whatever you are trying to manifest, you want to pick items that either go with that intention. So for a lot of the time, I find that colours really do represent the things you are trying to attract. Then I have this quartz crystal generator, which is very similar to a crystal grid. It works by generating and amplifying energy, boosting the power of the energy that is contained within the stones, and it generates it outwards uh, to the things that are around it. So underneath this, I have placed a letter that I have handwritten myself. So I have put the date on. So you want to make sure you put the date on of what the day is that you started this manifestation. So that just has everything in that I am visualizing for myself. And I make sure I put as much detail in as possible. So when you are writing your manifestation, you want to make sure you are saying I have rather than I want. Then I have this clear quartz house carving, which has these clear quartz needles. So clear quartz is known for its high vibration and it also does aid in concentration. So I'm using this to concentrate the intention of getting my own house. So you could also use a picture or a brochure to place underneath your altar if you are manifesting a move. So I have placed some real money notes in my altar and this is just to attract abundance and prosperity and to increase my savings. To attract a new home in my life, I have a key on my altar. Now this key is very sentimental because it belonged to my nan and granddad and it belonged to their home. So it kind of felt right to have this key to place into my altar to very much attract the same energy of having my own door key to a new place. It's important that each item means something to you for your manifestations to work. I have green adventurine as it is thought to be the luckiest of all crystals, especially in manifesting prosperity and wealth. So I also have pyrite, which is an excellent stone to increase prosperity and attract wealth and abundance into your life. Um, this is because pyrite is also known as a lucky stone. So I feel like um, you need to choose crystals that again attract the intentions that you are trying to set. Then I have a natural citrine, which has a high vibrational energy that aligns with wealth and abundance. 
So it's also one of the most powerful crystals you can use for manifestation. If you want to attract more money, using a citrine can be an easy way to align your energy with financial success. I have these magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish, which I actually use this oracle deck as affirmations to affirm to myself daily. And these cards have really good kind of poetic sentences to help you to do this and to pick the cards again that are attracting the things that you want to bring into your life. So another good thing you can put in your altar is a moon water. So you can look at the cycles of the moon for when the date of the new moon is. And this is really good for intention setting. In my moon water, I have placed Aventurine for good luck, clear quartz to amplify the energies and crazy lace a gate for happiness. So you can drink from your moon water or use your moon water for items and this is a great way to honour your altar space. Then I have this wealth manifestation jar which as you can see has the word written on which again just amplifies the intention we are setting and it has herbs and crystals inside. So I'm going to show you how you can actually make one of these um, manifestation jars. So the first thing you will need is a bottle and this bottle can be made from glass or plastic and as you can see you can just remove the lid to basically put whatever you want inside. So before putting any crystals or herbs in you want to make sure that you cleanse the area and the bottle. So I am using Palo Santo for this. So before putting any items inside, you want to make sure that you have cleansed the bottle and the space as well as the items you are going to be putting in there. So you can use sage, palo santo or you can use um, sandalwood incense sticks. So the first thing we're going to put in is sea salt crystals because these are really cleansing and purifying. So we want to put this as the base at the bottom of the bottle to cleanse and purify. So the next herb I'm going to be putting in my bottle is basil because this is often associated with wealth and prosperity and good fortune. Which again, remember to look up the ingredients you are using and if it aligns with what you are trying to bring in. Then I'm putting in some green aventurine chip crystals because the colour green evokes the meaning of money and good luck and wealth. And this is what I'm trying to attract and green adventurine is that crystal. So then I am using some bay leaves because these are used in wish making. So I'm going to be writing on my bay leaf and then popping it inside my jar. So with a marker pen, I'm just writing a keyword of what I am trying to attract and bring into my life. You could even write money signs, symbols, your name or whatever you would like to write on your leaf. So to make sure my bay leaf fits inside my jar, I'm just going to be cutting it down the middle with scissors just so I can put both of my intentions in. I really love manifestation jars because they're really easy to make and you can carry them around with you for good luck or you can meditate with them and just spend time holding the bottle and putting your intentions into them as well. So now it's complete I'm going to close the bottle and put the lid on. You can then decorate your bottle with charms so I'm going to be using this pentacle symbol to represent coins and money. And I'm going to be using a silver wire and now you can use a thread, cotton wool, whatever you feel comfortable with. But I'm just using this silver wire to connect at the back and just make sure it's fully secure. So the last step is to seal the jar. So what I would recommend is candle wax or you can use tape, whatever you feel comfortable with. But I've used a green candle wax to drip on to seal the lid. This just means that my manifestations are sealed shut and my intentions are fully secure inside. And green candles represent wealth. So to activate your altar, you can spend five or 10 minutes a day 
to meditate on your intention. You can also do morning or evening meditations. You can also burn um, essential oils, palo santo, sage or candles just to basically uplift the energy. I hope you enjoyed this video of my spiritual altar tour. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.